Well, sometimes there's nothing like laying back looking up and enjoying a starry filled sky. So I am with Andrea today from Celestron and we are surrounded by beautiful telescopes. So why don't we start with this guy here. Tell us the features of this one. Sure, uh, this is our brand new um, Cosmos 90GT Wi-Fi telescope. So this is the first uh, Wi-Fi enabled telescope that's available. Um, it basically communicates with your um, iPhone, iPad, Android device. Use that, basically hold it up to the night sky. What's that bright object? Tap it, it'll say, oh, that's Jupiter. And next thing you know, your telescope is locating it and centering it for you in the eyepiece. So, no way. <laughs> couldn't get any easier than that. So this is a great scope for beginners, um, and it's actually a part of our um, Cosmos line, which will be um, supporting the new uh, Cosmos reboot series with Neil deGrasse Tyson that will be airing on Fox this spring. Great. So this is a great one for maybe people that are starting, you know, amateur astrologers, if you will. Yeah, amateur astronomers, absolutely. And uh, it's just a great piece for uh, people that might have been intimidated by using a star map or something like that. You know, everyone has their devices with them all the time, so it's pretty easy to learn a new app. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, so let's move on to this guy here, which we're getting a little bigger right. up in the scale. So what are the features of this big guy and maybe the, dif the differences between this one and the one you just showed us? Sure. So this is another uh, computerized telescope. Um, this one is our advanced VX with a nine and a quarter inch mirror um, telescope. Um, this one is a little bit more advanced. You can do use this for if you're interested in taking images of stars, nebula, things like that. Um, the thing that we're showcasing here is our, our Star Sense accessory. This is basically a miniature camera that you attach to your telescope, um, turn it on, the camera slews around the night sky, looks for different star patterns, compares that to its internal database, and based on that, it can calculate where it is in the world and generate an automatic list of all the best celestial objects that you can currently view. Oh my gosh. And then it's just up to me <laughs> to decide to view them all in the night sky. Correct. Yep. You're all ready for your night of observations. So now either of these, would you say, are they kid friendly or are they just for adults? You know, anyone basically, you know, we go, we go out to star parties all the time with the general public and we always see parents hoisting up their kids and hold them up to the eyepiece. And, you know, you never forget that first view of Saturn or Jupiter through a telescope. So we say the bigger, the better, even if you're young. Absolutely. <laughs> now, speaking of the bigger or the better, you think this is big. It's not. So we are going even bigger right now. Over here, Andrea, you're going to have to explain this guy, which I can barely even reach the top of it. What is this? <laughs> this is our uh, top of the line telescope. So this will be the CGE Pro 1400 HD. Uh, so this one has our best optics, Edge HD optical technology on our massive CGE Pro mount, which is capable of slewing a uh, payload up to 95 pounds. So you can have this optical tube, you can load it up with all your camera, accessories, anything else you can throw on there, and it will just slew around the night sky for you. Is this available now or will it be available soon? Uh, this one's available now, uh, price tag about $10,000. Not as much as I thought it would be. <laughs> um, you know, uh, my producer was saying we could get two at that <laughs> price. You know, one for each eye, one in different rooms. Um, that's amazing. So thank you so much. Where can people get more information? Uh, find us on Celestron.com and also uh, like us on Facebook, Celestron Telescopes. Great. Thanks a lot, Andrea.